Hello, my name is Benitez Rosario Matias. And for those who know me, I've been a, a poet, and you know it, for over two decades now. Since uh, about 1994, I've been writing and doing spoken word. And I, I do my best uh, to be heard, especially on special occasions or when something touches me. Uh, at one point, it took 10 years for me to actually put the pen to the paper. And it took me uh, even longer to try to figure out in what order I would put that in. Uh, I've been published uh, several occasions. Uh, my book of poetry is called Fall, Four Seasons. Uh, and I started with that uh, as a project where I wrote a poem every week for a year and finally put together 10 years of work in uh, that year uh, to try to put together this series. Um, but I'm here to speak about uh, our sister, uh, a mother, a grandmother, a uh, woman who's touched so many hearts, uh, Maya Angelou. And for many years, it was hard to find words for a lot of us poets uh, to lift our voice and uh, say what the truth was. But Maya Angelou opened up the many hearts of many men and women all around the world. I mean, from king to queens and to presidents. She was the one that spoke the evidence of the truth. And so I say with this, simply that she is an inspiration to many and that she will be loved and missed. But I'm sure she rests with the angels tonight uh, and I wish her family the best. But uh, coming back from many trips, uh, I've traveled coast to coast uh, in the land of 10,000 lakes in Minnesota, uh, from New York to California to Atlanta, and uh, I just have to say this, very simply as a, as, as a poet, that black is beautiful. And I, I say this very simply because today many people don't realize it. I mean, sure, you have some people that uh, still wear cornrows, uh, still wear afros, but I'm sorry. It's, it's sad to see that from a woman that spoke to so many hearts and minds, that it's been lost, that still I rise, and uh, a phenomenal woman, that women don't appreciate who they are anymore. They often try to play the game of team dark-skinned, team light-skinned, and uh, we're back to the days of school days, and it's saddened me to see that so many people would rather put on that makeup and cover up their beautiful skin. Uh, then realize who they are again. And it's just sad to me when you see these people constantly play against one another. And if you learned anything from Maya Angelou and her spoken word is that she made you under understand you had to have appreciation for yourself. I mean, I'm not a preacher. I'm not Muslim. I'm just a simple man that believes that beauty lies within but some people believe it lies in their skin. I mean, we grew up from the age of, is white the only right, you know? Is light, light skin better than dark skin? And it's, it's just sad to say that it, if you don't believe in yourself, why else would anyone else want to believe in you? It's a miracle that we've come so far and yet fallen so far. You know, from the hopes and the dreams of a slave, our people have to realize that we were the kings and queens. We built the walls in Africa. We built the White House when it was tore down. On the backs of free men who used to be free, who were turned into slaves. It's sad in me that people don't have appreciation for their roots. I mean, I represent the four corners of the world. I can't say that's not the truth. But look at me, my skin is brown, caramel complexion. Some call me honey, but that's not always where the money is. People like to be lighter, brighter, but light doesn't make you bright. And I'm sorry, black is beautiful tonight. I say with appreciation, you know, blonde can be beautiful, but black is beautiful. I say with appreciation that our little girls are growing up and it's not still I rise, it's still I fall because have you seen the study where a girl takes a dial and she's like this one's ugly and that's the black dial? 
I'm not looking for a Barbie and I'm not looking for a brick house. This is simply to say that I appreciate the beauty within. It's not just your skin, but black is beautiful. I'm sad to see some of these girls with that draw their eyes, brawls. It's really sad, y'all. And some of y'all may laugh because it's kind of funny. Because sometimes you draw something and it can be uh, goofy. It can be sad. At the same time, I don't know if she's happy or sad because she looks excited all the time. But I say this simply, that black is beautiful. I mean, from the land of milk and honey, as they would say, I come from a land of 10,000 lakes. Okay, I'm 15,000, but who's really counting? People are out trying to tan because, well, we have a sun, but it only shows up for about, oh, when the sunlight is done. And it comes and goes like the wind. But people had the appreciation for beauty, the art. The art of poetry is to speak the truth that has never been spoken. Knowing why the caged bird sings is one of the reasons that... I am awoken. You know, this is the matrix for those you either take the red pill or the blue pill. And some of y'all need to make a choice because it's getting rather sad at the most. I don't mean to boast, but uh, I've been accepted and went on to go to more than one college. It's not for our brothers to look past the knowledge, but to learn and adapt and not forget the past and whatnot. You know, I'm just going to say this, that black is beautiful and I hope that you see and I hope that you share this with me. I appreciate you, everyone that's supported me through these years and I'll try to do more things like this, um, but you know, lo losing my Angelo, you know, brings a man to tears. But to the deaf poets, to those who are black and they know it, say black and proud. I mean, you can wear a blonde wig for the night, but dang blue, come on, that ain't alright. I mean, it's Halloween night, not really. But I just want you to understand that black is beautiful. I don't care if you're dark or light, calmer complexion, or, well, darker than dark. Because I can't see you. Smile, Alex. But you know, <laughs> that's for my brothers. For my brothers and my sisters. It's sad to see you looking so down. And I mean your pants. Pull them up. It's really bad. I speak for those who I rise for. The hopes and the dream of the slave. But I'm speaking for my kings and my queens. You know, those two suits, that's how you win. The game of spades, at least. <laughs> well, this has been just a PSA. I'm proud to say that black is beautiful. And I hope that you share this with someone. If it touched you, I hope that it keeps on touching you. And that you're able to appreciate what you are, who you are, and be everything that is beautiful to you. Thank you.